Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're continuing on with our Divi Theme Builder series here. We're going to create a custom login or basically a custom My Account page here using the the new Theme Builder. We we put a little section up the top here for a deal of the day sort of product, and we've got our custom login right here. And we've just got a few items that we might want to promote down the bottom. Of course, we've got our global header and footer. And if you log in, it'll take you to your dashboard there with your orders, downloads, addresses, account details, and of course, log out. I'm logged in as Divi Woo because it's the only user I've got here. That's why I'm doing it in the incognito tab. That way I can log out and get back. Show you the login screen. Okay, well let's get started. What I'll do is I'll shut this down. Here it is again right here. Let's go to our theme builder. And to get the theme builder, if you've not done it before, dashboard, Divi, there it is, a new theme builder. Here's all the ones we've done before, global headers, custom headers, custom bodies, etc. Checkout pages, 404 pages, cart pages. Here's the one I just did today, um, my account page. So let's get rid of this and start again from scratch. I'm gonna trash that. I'm gonna make sure the saves, changes are saved. Now, when I refresh this page, it should go back to the sort of generic default my account login type page. I'm already logged in. There it is. Um, it's okay, but it's pretty boring. And if I was to open this in an incognito tab, because we wouldn't be logged in. There it is. And like I say, that's okay. It's kind of nice and clean, but like with everything else, let's make it our own. I want to perhaps advertise a deal of the day up here or a product and have a few more perhaps down below and customize this more to our liking. So let's get started. Let's go to our theme builder. I'm gonna add a new template. First thing, it's gonna ask you where it, you wanna apply it to. And I wanna apply it to my account this time. WooCommerce, my account. Create a template. By default, it's put in a global header and a global footer that we created up here. The URL for all these other creations and videos will be down below this video if you want to learn how to do these. I'm not going to go over it again. And all we want to do is add a custom body. So let's add a custom body. Just left click where it says custom body. Build custom body. And I'm going to start building. Build from scratch. Okay, let's do what I did just now. Up here, I'm gonna put in a row. Let's use this one right here. I think that's the one I used. And it's gonna prompt us to put in some modules. By default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard. They just added these new 16 modules for the WooCommerce. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check out Divi. It's just getting better and better and it's so easy to use with some fantastic features. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below the video. So what do we want to put here? Well, let's put a let's put a number counter. There it is. And it's come up purple because that's the accent color I've been using for this crazy site here. Um, title, I'm going to say sold today. Number, well, let's say 26, whatever number you want. Elements, I don't want the percentage sign because it's not a percent, so let's just go into elements and take that one off. That's absolutely fine. If you wanted to change the color of anything, just go up to the design number text and you can change, like any other module, whatever you want to change it to, size and color. I'm going to leave mine as purple just like that. Okay. And let's perhaps add 
what product we want to add. So I'll put the product on the right hand side here. I'm going to click add new module. I'm simply going to use the fantastic shop module, which I absolutely love. There it is. And what product do we want to actually advertise? Well, let's do a product category. Let's do sale products. I only want one to display, so I'm just going to put one in there. There we go. Casual pants. Let's just customize that a little bit. Elements. That's fine. We don't need pagination or anything like that. Let's go to our design. Overlay. I'm going to leave that just like it is. You can customize the overlay color and icon color there if you want to, but I'm going to leave that. Image. I'm going to give that a little bit of a box shadow. Just to give it a bit of depth. See which one works best. That one. Probably take that in a little bit. Take the spread down just slightly. And push it over to the right a little bit. There we go, that's fine. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Let's go close this one up. Text. I want it centralized, that's fine. Title text, I guess I'll make it purple. <laughs> We've been using that throughout. And let's make it semi bold perhaps so it sticks out a little bit more and bring it up slightly in size. There we go, that's absolutely fine. Price, do I want to change the price text? Um, yeah, why not? Let's make that actually green in color, it's sort of encouraging green light for go. It's in the middle already. Let's take it up just a little bit in size. Fantastic, fantastic. And let's change that sale button as well to perhaps our purple. Or whatever works for you, of course. Sale badge. Sale badge color. There we go, perfect. Okay, and let's add a little text module in here. And what shall we say? Let's go down, find a text module. There we go. And let's just put in deal of the day. Deal of the week, whatever you perhaps want to put in there. I'm going to make that a heading two, so I'm just selecting it. Drop down, make it heading two. Let's go to design. Heading text, we know it's H2, or if you didn't know, you can hit the little paintbrush icon, it'll take you straight to it. I'm going to make that semi bold, that's fine. Want it in the middle, we'll make it our purple color, and we'll bring it up in size. That's fine, just like that. Save that. And to reinforce that it's the deal of the day, let's add. So a bit of metadata under with the with the today's date or the date it'll update to whatever the date is there. So let's add a new module, little black circle there. Again, I'll I'll go for text, but we're going to use some dynamic content here. Text, there it is right there. Now if we go down, we've got this sort of little disk type icon here. Just click on that, left click, and you can add some dynamic content, which will. will pull straight from the database and there's a lot of options here. I just want the current date so every day that will display the correct date. There it is right there and we've got a before and after. So if I want to put something before I could say only on space and when it updates only on there we are and if we wanted to put up put something after it we could say something like give it a space and say 60% off or something like that whatever you want to say and that should update there we go only on October 28th and that will change every day 60% off 
Okay, let's go to the design, text. Well, I want it to be centralized. So let's go down. I think I'm gonna leave it the default color there. I think I might wanna just bring it up a little bit in size. Text size, let's just pop it up so it's almost the same width as that right there. That's fine, great. And perhaps underneath here we'll put a description of these casual pants. So let's save this. Let's add one more. Just added a new module here. Let's go down to our WooCommerce modules and select Woo Description. There it is, Woo Description. And the product we want is casual pants. There it is. And we've got the short description. That's absolutely fine because I think it's the same anyway. It's, it's Laura Mipsum, so it's pretty meaningless. Design wise, all I'm going to do is pop that in the middle, I believe. There we go. Fantastic. I'm going to leave that just like it is. And one last thing on this little section right here. Let's put a stock number under here for the amount of stock we've got on this. So again, we'll hit the little black circle with the white cross to add a new module. We'll go down to our Woo modules at the bottom, and there should be one here that says Woo Stock. There it is, Woo Stock. This product, well, we haven't actually selected one. Let's actually select the product so we know for sure we're on the right one, Casual Pants. I move this out of the way. Again, this is dynamic content, so as the stock go down, goes down, as the stock number goes down, it will update that fine well I want to centralize that and just make it purple perhaps make it stand out a bit more with a bit of bit of bold text perhaps so let's make this I want to say try semi bold that's okay let's make it purple only reason I'm using purple is because <laughs> we've been using it throughout this little uh, um, site here can we bring it up? I don't want to bring it up too much. That's probably good. That's fine. That's great. Okay, and let's finish it off by let's give it a little background gradient for our, our whole section here, not not the actual row. So the blue ones for the section, the green tabs for the row, and the dark tabs for whatever module you want to edit. We want to edit the section, so I hit the little cog up here. Go to background. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. I'm going to put a gradient in. And let's see. Let's leave that blue there. And we'll make the second one purple. I want to take it down in opacity so everything's legible. So let's take this down quite a bit. So we can see everything very well. And we'll do the same to the blue, which is the other color right there. There we go, just so we can see everything perfectly. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to leave that just as it is. I want to, I've got a bit too much space at the bottom here, so I'm going to left click on the section, pull the padding up a little bit. I could do the same, I'm on the row now, and pull the padding up a little bit on that one. I think that'll do fine. So we've got our little advert, if you will, or whatever it is we want to encourage our returning users to take a look at. Now, the next thing we want to do, we've got to have the login on the page or there's no point. So let's add a new section. Little blue button right there for a section, green one for a row. I want a section because we want to do a different background for this, perhaps. Add new section. And within this section, I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm just going to have one column, one row. And inside here, to make anything display using your WooCommerce, pulling from pages, whether it's login or whatever, you need to have a post module or a post content module. Or it will not work. So if we click on this, left click, put it in there. And as we've mentioned in previous videos, you might be looking at this thing, well, that's my post. I don't want my post there. I want the actual login or the my account details. 
Well, that's fine because we've selected this to be applied to the My Account page. This will pull from that database and it will have the login and the account details of whoever logs in. So we'll leave that just like that. And I'm going to make this section background. I'll give it another gradient. We're going to have this is going to be quite dramatic, this one. So let's give it a gradient. First color, I'm going to leave that as blue. And I'll set the second color as purple. That's fine. I'm going to leave that just like that. In fact, I'm going to reverse those. I'm going to have it the other way around just for fun. Let's make this one purple. And let's make the second one blue. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, and because we've got this darker background, I want to make sure everything text wise in here is light. So I'm just going to go into the module settings. I'm going to go into the design. I'm going to go into text. And I'm just going to simply select white as the color. And as you can see, it's disappeared there. If I move this over, what else have we got going on here? That's a link and these are headings, obviously. So let's make our links and headings also white. So if we go up, there's the text, there's the link. Let's make those white. When I do that, that blue should, this little link right there should disappear. There we go, because it's white on white. Let's do our headings. Close up the text and we should have heading text below there. That's fine. Heading one, I'm going to do them all just for safety. One, two, and three. Save that. I'm not worried about that. And um, we won't have any image on there. I don't know if we've got any four, fives, and sixes. I guess we could just go in and do all of them. So let's do that four just in case there's some in there don't think there are but there may be and it's very easy just to do this so so we know all our headings are going to be white in color there let's save that and I think what we'll do on this row just to make it stand out because this is going to be the login as well as the account let's go in here in the design Give it a border. I'm going to give it a say a two pixel. Just put two in there. It'll put the px. And if you've got that link checked, it'll do all four corners at once. So it's going to be a two pixel border. We'll make it white. You won't notice it here because there's a white default background on there. And let's perhaps just give it a bit of box shadow, make it stand out a little bit more. Just use that one right there. As you can see, it's got it right there. And the only other thing I want to do is I want to make sure there's a bit of padding all around in the middle so everything's not squashed up. It's kind of difficult to see at the moment, but when you look at it live, it'll all become apparent. So I'm going to go design spacing. There we go, spacing. And I'm just going to give it 50 pixels all the way around just going to put 50 it'll automatically put in pixels if you want to do percent you can just select that and put a percent check the button it'll do the opposite and let's do it for the other sides as well left and right there we go fantastic okay so that doesn't look much here but like I say when we convert to live it'll look quite good so let's save that I'm going to add one more row just underneath here I'm going to put another shop module in I'm going to just use one column That's fine. I'll just leave that exactly how it is. I'll just do a little bit of design there. What I'm going to do is the images. We'll give a little tiny bit of box shadow to use that one right there. That's fine. Keep on going down. Um, text. All our text. I want that centralized. If I just roll down a bit, it's hard to see there. So let's centralize that all. 
Let's go to the title text. We want to make that white or light in color. Might make it semi bold. There we go. You can see that better. I'm going to take that up slightly. There we go. Fantastic. Now we want the price underneath. You can't read that. We want to make that bigger and I'm going to make it green like we did up, up the top there. Price text. There we go. Green. And let's pop it up in size a little bit. Fantastic. Let's make our sale badge purple like we did on the top one. Badge color purple. Great, there we are. Only other thing I want to do is I want to put a bit of gap between the bottom of that and the top of this. So let's save that. Go to our row right here and just, just pull it down. Left click and drag it down a bit and you can just add some padding. There we go. It'll automatically do it for you. Something like that. And we'll leave that as is. We'll call that done. So what we want to do is hit the little purple button. Hit save for the page changes. Okay, let's go up to my account. There's the original generic one right there. Let's refresh. There we go, and there we've got our product that we want to advertise. We've got our account details, dashboard orders, download, logout, Divi Woo's who I'm logged in by. And there's our little shop module on the bottom and our global footer, and of course our global header. If I copy this URL and open another incognito tab, put it in there, because we won't be logged in if I do this. And there we've got the same thing with our little advert at the top. And of course you've got your login screen right there. So there you have it. That is how to customize your login or my account page using the fantastic new Divi theme, theme builder options. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.